Feature Friday. The freshest. <laughs> I actually do not know much about this video. There are only oh. a couple of things that were sent on an email. And one of them was, this is like a great cover. <laughs> okay, let's it's, go. It's live band and it's an Air Raman original. I presume, actually, that we've seen bits and bobs of this on the stream. Um, yeah. We used to stream every Friday last year. Promised a full review a and bit then... late now. <laughs> but it's better late than never, isn't it? Yeah. So oh, I think I have seen videos of this on Reels. Like little snippets of this. Really? Yes! It's been a while since we checked out music like this. It is the coolest thing though, already. Yeah, I think it blew our minds when we heard a few sections. They're like, they're like the main section of the song? Stank face, this is great. Oh, what language is that? What? I feel like this is like South Indian for some reason. Oh, this freaking rocks! Oh, it's so good! Yes! Senor, you are a god! Oh, this is so great! It's so cool to see a fusion, isn't it? Like, oh, they, they fused so well. I've always said it. Indian music and rock, alternative rock goes so well. Oh, I'm totally freaking gushing over this. Sick! Oh, it's just the musical level here is just absolutely phenomenal. Oh shit. Very good drummer. Fabulous. That's fabulous. what's needed. Fingers. Oh, nice. Come on. To a certain extent, it's like oh, that is it's like so alterna great. alternative rock with like Indian music. It's as if that was probably what the intended genre was trying to do because it's like a weird mix between like indie folk, oh yes, rock, okay, and then classical Indian classical. So it's like essentially you would presume that if you were trying to do an alternative genre. Yeah, this would be the definition. By definition, this would be it. Yeah. And I, I just adore the fact that there are the the main aspect of this whole thing is the Indian influence yep. overall, right? So like the well, main driver. Yeah. First <laughs> song in in I guess it's Tamil. I don't. I'm not sure. Go on. I'm not sure either. But like the fact that like the Indian music influence is like the main driver here allows for the alternative rock element that is introduced in the electric guitars, the bass, the piano, and the drums to be kind of like a complementary aspect to the track and not so much a original fusion. Mm. So like the rock the, the rock aspect doesn't take away from the, the, the true roots of the song, which Correct. it's so fabulously done. It's so fabulously done because it could be... It could be the main focus. It could be the only reason for why you would tune into this performance. But it actually is a complementary aspect of the song. Yeah. And I adore that because it allows for another layer to be discovered. It's fabulous. Oh, it's so good. Also, what a great chord progression, right? Banging. Well, they are, right? Dekhte hai tan mera man mein chup 
Oh, I love an acapella intro. That's great. Come on! I'm adding this to my part, my playlist. Dude, what an arrangement! It's bloody so. Oh, that drummer is living his best life. Oh, he's a rock star. Cool studio too. This is the part I saw in the reels. <laughs> oh shit <laughs> Oh put that section again Go what back go back go back Resolution. Oh, that's such a brilliant resolution. Also, it feels like a really short song. Doesn't it? It's only five minutes Bra long. Bragati. Bragati. Coke Studios. Pache Taoge, whatever. The <laughs> that Bra is so great. The Vina, it's a Vina, it's not a Sarot. It's a Vina. Ah, Savina. It's a Vina. Oh, a Sarot is like, it. uh, it's the one that looks like, it's like this. They play like that, right? Then a Sitar is like, it doesn't have the two bubbles. Right, okay, And the yes, Vina has yes. the two bubbles. This makes sense. I am very sorry for that. But that is super, super freaking dope. His precious Peter. Precious, precious Peter. Indeed. Indeed. Precious indeed. Peter indeed. The drums, Peter was doing a great job. Amanate. And Amanate. the lead guitar, Abin Sagare. The bass. That guy was doing God's work. Abhijit. Abhijit Suti. Suti. Or Suti. Suti. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, that is a fabulous. And it's crazy that only this, uh, like a handful of people can create so much depth, so much magic, so many musical dynamics. I'm always baffled by that. It's also such an arrangement and complicated song. Well, then again, it's Malayalam. It's, uh, Malayalam. 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 Yeah. It, it makes is, sense, though, it because it yeah. is A.R. Rahman's composition. It, it, I, was, I was expecting a lot of musical intricacy. So he's a very damn popular singer, uh, Ma Malayalam singer. Wow. Cool. I was expecting a lot of musical intricacy given the fact that the original composer is so percussion forward mm. and uh, it, it allows for a lot of uh, stops and starts and dynamics to come through really well but obviously A.R. Roman's natural inclination to percussion doesn't, not, doesn't give way for alternative rock that easily so it's quite interesting to see the the alternative rock arrangement. Uh, drum arrangement, like the 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 uh, percussion well, dynamics, so is so uh, the original, fascinating. Original singer is Lata uh, Mangeshkar, uh. so it, it is like a completely reimagined version. That it is says so cool. Popularly known as KS Hari Sankar is an Indian playback singer and music producer who predominantly works in the Malayalam cinema. Ah, um, look at that picture! Damn! Yeah, I think we have seen him on the rails or on the stream because he seems rather familiar. Right? This mother trucker. Um, what He's a only total star. 29. Oh, look at that. Damn, man, he can produce music like that? What the fuck? He can sing like that? Uh, Hari Sankare sang for the movie Sapaliam with KJ Sa Yasudas ah. at the age of four in <laughs> 1997. Well, and that explains for the devotional it album Sabari Mala. So his first album was devotional. Oh, Damn. look at that. He graduated from BDS, from PMS College in Dental Science and Research. <laughs> <laughs> and practiced at a clinic for six months. Then he opted out from medical practicing and focused on ketecheris. What the fuck does that mean? What is that? Uh, uh, ke ah. Kacheri is an assembly of musicians and an audience in the context of Carnatic music. Right, right. So okay. that's why he's cool, so cool, cool. bloody, he has so much expertise in music. Uh, is the winner of the Air Classical Competition in 2008 and okay. an accredited Grade B artist. He won the Kerala Regional Finals. Oh, so he's yeah, so he's very musical. If you like, musical. Um, 
Harry and he Sankare a... formed a band okay. with his friends named Pragati. 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 Yeah, okay. in 2015. Pragati. It has become a near constant pick for pro shows of Tiruvan Tapuram. This is that uh, festival, festival we checked out. Yeah. yeah. His brother is the violinist. He's also part of the band. Oh, nice. And they and release really singles covers. and covers on YouTube. Go, look at that. He's married. How cool. God bless. I wish this guy all the <gasps> success what in the planet. What a freaking rock star. I'm I so love that. Away. Let us know um, if you guys would like us to check out more of his work. People were saying that like they love Arijit oh. Hindi. Oh, okay. And then he is like the king of Malayala music. Ah, you're okay. Hindi, the Arijit. Sense. And then what else was someone saying here? Um, <laughs> yeah, I love watching the comments for that reason. Uh, someone was saying... Oh, Tamil Sitsidium. Uh-huh. Right, Sitsi. Sense. Oh, we have to check out some Sitsi. I, he I'm was in sure Tiny Desk. Saying, oh, he was. I'm pretty sure we're saying, we, I, we keep saying his name wrong, but he's amazing. Sid. Uh, no, uh, yeah, we say his name wrong. Oh, yeah, that's true. His name is rather difficult to say. I don't know how it's to say it. the same as Ritik. We were saying Hithrik. <laughs> Listen, he's still cute. 